What are exotic crystals? And what are they used for? Well, stay tuned and I should try to explain how it works. Well, to get exotic crystal, you have to get into mountain. Well, you, you will never see them in beach or lower areas, right? But you will only see it in mountain and higher areas. So that is the first place where you're gonna see those crystals. Before you can see them, you have to unlock it here on this one for the first step. And this goes in three different steps. It goes up to one percentage for the first time. Then there is an, a new unlock that you can do in the rebirth cave that makes it to two percent. And there is another rebirth uh, up unlock in the rebirth cave that can make it up to three percent, which is the maximum. Another place that, where you also can get this is in the achievements. And the achievements is with the with the more exotic crystal you save, the better you will have. The maximum is one percent more. So, totally, you can get 4% from this. And how can you increase that percentage more? That is by getting this one in here that is Magnetosphere. But we're gonna get back to that later on, okay? So, that is how you can kinda start to get those. But how does the mechanism work? Well, let's look at just the percentage here. So, when I my, one of my pets is breaking a crystal, that means I'm gonna have 3% chance plus 0.9, 3.9% times 2.59. So if I take need 3.9% times 2.59, I'm gonna have the chance for that um, destroyed crystal to respawn as an exotic crystal. So that's the way you get exotic crystals. So. That's one thing. And which exotic crystal will spawn and so on? Well, normally, if I open on the side here, this one unlocks the common crystals. And the common crystal is giving one point. If you look in the background here with me, you don't see a single one of them. And there's a reason for that. So we're gonna go through that. So the first thing that you want to do, if you want to get better than common, then you have to unlock rare earth. It costs 10 stones. And it's a good thing that you can get quite early in the game. That means that you can have uncommon, rare, epic, legendary, prodigious, ascended, and mythical stones. Ex uh, exotic stones uh, spawning. Common gives one, uncommon gives five, rare gives, gives 10, epic gives 15, legendary gives 25, prodigious gives 50, Ascender gives 75 and Mythical gives 100. Well, so you're gonna, with this one, you're gonna have at least a chance for getting something good, right? So you can get everything. But with this one, you're still gonna get the common ones. So then, you, as you see in the background here, we don't have any common. So why is that? Well, that is this upgrade here. So this upgrade is so that when, when first an Exotics is spawning, there is a chance for it to become a one higher rarity. That means if it spawn as a common, it will become an uncommon. If it spawn as a legendary, it will become a prodigious one. If it spawn as a mythical, it's still gonna be a mythical. It's, so there are no bigger than mythical. Somebody has believed that there was introduced a bigger one, but that was a misunderstanding. That was just an upgrade in Rebirth Cave that had that, had that name uh, for, for that reason. So. So basically, when you get this to 100%, you will never see the common anymore. You will only get uncommon or better. But this one is extremely expensive to get, so this is more endgame stuff. Okay? So now we have explained the rare earth, we have explained this um, improve of um, stones, and also magnetosphere. What is that? Magnetosphere is the one that we did used on a calculation, right? This is basically uh, getting bigger chance of getting a spawn exotic crystal for every and each and every metallic pet that you have. As you can see, I have 159 metallic pets, right? And we can see that in here, you will see I have 195 and that is added here. So this is 1.00 if you don't have any metallic pads so it's not any point unlocking this it's like thousand stones so don't unlock this before you have metallic pads so this is one of the uses that you have for it so this is just helping you to get even more 
exotic score. Both this one and this one and this one. Right? So, what what else can exotic score give you? Well, it can also give you more gold. So if you see the prosperous ground, since I have up here 55.9 million, right? Exotic crystals. I'm getting 55.9% more gold. And this is the total gold that you're getting. As you see, I have quite good gold income. It's not just to because of this one. Shiny score is way better, right? So that is for sure. But this one is at least some doing something with your goal at the moment. So this is end game at the moment. But Tusu has said in the future, Prosperous Crown is the future. So I guess this one is gonna get tremendous more important in the future updates. So when that's gonna come, we don't know for, for, for that reason. So that is, that is one thing, right? But does it help you to get more gold in other ways? Yes, it absolutely does. When out here, when you get these big crystals, they have more hit points than normal crystals, right? So you see the normal uh, diamond crystals that we can call them here in mountain, right? They get you a certain hit point, and the amount of hit points you do is also converted into which kind of gold drop you're gonna get and how much gold you get. So, and, and it's then the damage of your pet that decide how that is. So when you're spawning, it's not easy to see those, but you see here, it goes quick down because of we have really, really strong pets, as you see here. The pets does up to 30,000 damage each of them. So you're getting more gold from that one. But if you're getting a really big low one spawned, let's say a 100 one, you're gonna use also a longer time on them. So what also these bigger crystals here does is that they also give your pet longer uptime. That means they don't travel between uh, crystals. So what is downtime? Downtime is a time the path used from one crystal when it breaks one crystal like this one here and goes to another one. The time it used to travel between crystal is downtime. It doesn't give you any damage and it doesn't give you any gold income. So especially in the beginning, maybe not when we are this many here, it's giving you much more uptime, especially if you manage to uh, spawn a mythical one. It's gonna stay there for a really long time, and you can harvest gold for it constantly for a long time, and you will see your gold per minute or gold per second is going tremendously up because you don't have any downtime for that. So, well, basically, this is all about well, exotic at the moment. So, how it is gonna be in the future, we don't know at the moment how that's gonna be. But as I understand, Tusu says, says it's all about prosperous ground in the future, and that's maybe where the new map is coming. So I, I think it's it's smart to start harvest these things here, but not before you are an end game player. Are you an early game player, a mid game player, or something like that? That only thing I would recommend you to get is the rare earth, right? So. It's only for endgame players I recommend to get all of these other ones here and and so on. So yeah, I, I, I don't think it's it's good investment unless you are really endgame player at the moment. But that could easily change in the future when this uh, new update is coming. So well, this is everything that I had to say about Exotic Crystal. I hope this is helping you a little bit to understand what it is and so on. Well, there is one more thing I forgot to say. This is a very important thing, right? Oh, here we, by the way, got a bigger one, right? But it didn't last long here, <laughs> for some reason. But the thing is that when an exotic crystal is broken, you get points for it, right? But it's not only you that got points. Every player who has a pet in that area will get the same score. And this is why if you are many players co collaborating, you can uh, really farm and get a lot of score. And it's not only that, you can also then increase your gold income together if you gather up and farm exotic crystal in any of these end area, both in mountain, jungle, grotto and groove. So gather together, work together, do those, uh, get those exotic crystals and you're gonna earn more of them and you're also gonna earn more gold. Well, that was number one game of that, Viper Toffee, like and subscribe, and hope to see you again. Thank you, and bye-bye.